Hey chatters, I've recently become completely obsessed with perplexity. Down with Google, although I think Google's actually investing in them too. I find the UI is great, it works great, you can choose different models. It, I don't know, I, I've been so impressed with it. So in some ways, I, I'm not being paid by perplexity, although I will leave my code in there in case you decide to give it a try, but I just find it so much better than ChatGPT doing research and stuff because it looks at so many more resources. You can choose models. And of course, I'm always thinking about how do I integrate this with my Obsidian workflow? So I'm going to show you how to, how to do that as well uh, to make this all easy breezy. So first, this is perplexity. Sorry, you do have to uh, pay for it for the full kit and caboodle here, but there is a free tier. You get a certain number of search queries using the pro i think they have a free model though that you can use and it, it's good enough but the magic of it is let's say i want to just say about obsidian first it understands the question you see it's looking at 27 sources it allows me to view all of those sources you can see the steps it completed so it was searching for these different terms to find the sources and here it is typing everything up. So you'll see here it's added a specific way. It totally screwed up <laughs> how I wanted it to format it, but that's okay because we're going to we're gonna learn. But the idea is that I am trying to make it easily copy and paste into Obsidian and then it becomes part of my own sort of knowledge base. So before we get into that though, it's just I just love it too because it really encourages curiosity. So you'll see here, you can ask the follow-up question, but it also has a few related questions you can ask. So it encourages you to go down that rabbit hole. And then you can just easily copy and paste it, or we can edit the query uh, to try again. You can share just the link to people or have it regenerate. So you'll see here, the problem is that I actually really wanted it not to say anything before and after and to output in an Obsidian format. So if we go into our settings here, there's this profile button. Again, you might only have this in your in the paid account, but either way, this acts as like a system prompt. So it says introduce yourself, share as much as you'd like, similar to the custom instructions in ChatGPT, but really this is just a system prompt, so you can put whatever you want in here. So you'll see here I have a prompt, which apparently I need to work on, to essentially be a researcher templator and follow the below format. Got some rules here. But the idea is I really want it to create the YAML up top is what it's called. So if you put these things in the triple hyphens, it creates a property up top. And I just want the date that I looked this thing up and the specific tags related to it, list of tags. And note goes here and then put the wiki links at the end. I find that it's much better at just putting everything at the end rather than doing it in text. It, it often doesn't capture things. So that's what I did, and apparently it's was working, and now it's not working. So let's actually go back to my library. You teach me about Obsidian, and we're going to rewrite it. Right now I'm using Claude 3 Opus, but let's just try GPT-4 Turbo and see if it actually listens to me. Now this is funny, because <laughs> it's, is it Obsidian the app or <laughs> Obsidian the material? I probably should have been more specific. But you'll see it actually did it right this time, up top, so I guess I gotta go. Sorry, Claude, this one might be better for ChatGPT. And it did get Obsidian in terms of not the rock, <laughs> but the actual app, which is good. And it's probably because in my system prompt I mentioned that I'm Obsidian, so it goes. So we'll give this second to finish up. You'll see here it also has videos, images, stuff like that, which is just great. It does in-text citations, footnotes, and then it messed up here, important wiki links, but that's okay. Well, we'll use this just for the example. Obviously, I need to go back and work on the prompt a little bit. I just bring up a note here, and I'll copy and paste it in. You'll see we get our properties up here. This is today's date, not the time, but doesn't really matter. And then it goes through everything. You'll see it has the twos here. And when I come down, it'll actually show me where it pulled it from. So I keep bringing it over. 
Now this is supposed to be Wikilink, so we're gonna have to work on that, but I just wanted to show you all this quickly and just talk about how much I love Perplexity because it's so much fun. The one extra thing I'll share, and this is from my buddy Urosh, is that you can actually create collections. If you're trying to go down like a specific path, you can create a particular collection of questions essentially you'll ask in research. So you can title it, give it an emoji, you know how I feel about emojis. You can describe it if you want, but the most important part is this AI prompt, just like I did in the profile, is you give it a prompt in terms of how you want it to output it, what you want it to be paying attention to, what the context is, and this just gives you a lot of control in terms of doing your research. That's it for this. Just a quick one, but I want to highly recommend this to you. Perplexity has been such a pleasure to work with. I, I like don't use Google anymore. And so I would recommend just trying it out, building. I'll put the prompt that I have in here, although it needs some work apparently, as well as my affiliate code. So you can try it out on the cheap. But I hope you enjoy playing around. This is such a great thing for being a curiosity agent and getting stuff you're interested in into the vault so you can use it. So let me know how it goes, how you're enjoying Perplexity, and how you're integrating to Obsidian. And obviously, if you have a better prompt that works more effectively, let me know. I'd love to try it. Thanks, chatters.